Buddharam Sudaram Buddharam Sudaram Galima Shati Day Galima Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the Extreme Channel. I am Mr. X. This is a very old collectible by Sideshow. That's right, Sideshow Collectibles made this Mola Ram statue from in Did I say statue? Statue from Indiana Jones the Temple of Doom. This is what they call a premium format, which is a very fancy word to say that this is one fourth scale. You may have seen this guy recently on a for sale video that I actually launched. So when this is airing, I probably no longer own this guy, which is a shame because he's a pretty cool piece. However, the reason I'm selling him is he's not a good standalone piece. You almost have to have him with a Harrison Ford piece. Now, I have been lucky enough to meet Harrison Ford, actually. If you've caught my videos before, one day I was walking downtown and I saw this homeless guy in a jean jacket and jeans with a backpack staring at me, fully bushed out in a beard, gray hair and he looks and smiles at me and I'm staring at him I'm like that is Harrison Ford's doppelganger and then I go down the street to my guys that were smoking I'm not gonna say what they were smoking I go man I just saw Harrison Ford's doppelganger they go standing next to Calista Flockhart right there sure as shit it was him and then I ran up to talk to him and I said do you want your selfie with me for your Facebook page he said no thank you I think he did want it he didn't want people to gang rush him or is it gang bang well he probably didn't want either but Anyway, today we're going to look at this piece from Sideshow Collectibles. And again, this is always a mistake to review these pieces because then I don't want to sell them. But Mola Ram is the main villain in the second installment of Indiana Jones. It was probably my least favorite of the first three movies, but it was still a fantastic movie. He tears out people's hearts. He throws them in pits of lava. He makes them drink blood and controls their minds. Sounds almost like a horror film. And then he has thousands of children's slaves. But let's dive into the extreme review of this piece, and I don't think it's gonna take that long. That's what she said. <clears throat> now, one important thing for me when it comes to concept, when it comes to movie pieces, is likeness. So we'll also consider that, but let's take a look at everything. So first, I love what they did with the base here. It's kind of a conceptual base. You see some stones because they did live within the caves, and then you see these skulls all over. And they're skulls with different expressions on them. They're just very creepy, very Temple of Doomy, if you will. And then standing on top of that, there's some con there's some stamped concrete, and he is there in a museum pose. Museum means he's kind of posing for a picture. They did use what we call mixed media or actual fabric. They didn't sculpt his clothes, so I don't know what he looks like underneath. Oh, he has some pants on underneath, apparently. But uh, as you move up, his robes are flowing. These are very ceremonial robes. You get to the top, and he actually has a few different switch out options, but here he is wearing his ceremonial made of bones helmet or whatever you want to call it just makes him look even creepier he is holding a heart in his right hand and this time the heart is actually on fire which is from a direct scene in the movie i remember when i was little it was one i actually had to close my eyes for because they reached into someone's chest and pulled out their heart and then the heart lit on fire pretty cool so i think they did a lot and as you saw the portrait in there i think they did a decent job on the likeness especially for a much older piece it definitely looks like the actor uh, the other portrait switch out we're going to look at does have a decent likeness to the actor as well. It's an iconic part of the movie. I like what they did conceptually with the base. I think the concept's a four out of five. Pretty freaking cool. And this is why I ended up buying this statue years and years ago. Now, I did buy it secondhand. And kind of a warning, we're not going to have a category about value. Because I don't know how much the original retail was. I imagine it was around three or $400. And I don't even know all the edition size stuff. This one is 750 I can tell from the bottom, but there's not a lot of information online. It's probably in some other reviews, but I never watch other reviews before I do my own because I simply don't want to steal any ideas or content. However, we're going to look at the design of this piece, which is fairly simplistic as well. And the first thing we're going to look at is the dimensions. So what's great is these older pieces don't take up much room. It's about 12 inches diameter, and that's with the skull sticking out. Then the tallest point with the heart on fire is right about 26 and a half inches. Now the switch out, which we'll look at in a second, is about two and a half inches less. So let's just look at those. So first, his right hand, he can have this heart on fire. I definitely prefer the on fire because it's cooler. Or you can go just the heart, which is still pretty cool as well. Now here's the two different portrait options that I talked about. First with his helmet on, and then with his helmet off. Now this is the regular version. They did an exclusive that actually included this little 
that actually included this little piece from the movie as well. Pretty neat. I would have liked to have that, but it's definitely not a make or break. Now, obviously his hand and his portrait are separate pieces. Otherwise, it's all one piece. Normally, I don't like mixed media or fabric, but I think it works really well with this statue. So I think design's done well, but it's not incredibly elaborate, so it's not that hard to pull off. Uh, I think the design's a three out of five on this piece. You know what, I think it's a four out of five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it to four out of five simply because I like a lot of the switch out options and it, it so captures the character. But now with paint and sculpt, again, there's not a lot to look at because most of it is covered by this mixed media or this fabric. But we can take a look at the base and obviously his hand and portrait. So let's start there. So here on the base, pretty cool. Uh, the texture on the rocks is okay. They could have used a little bit more texture. I like the different colors they used. Makes it uh, still very scary. The human skulls. I don't know if I'm a fan of all these different expressions. Some of them look a little bit comical. I like the concept, but, but I think the execution isn't as good. And then it has that small sub base below it. And then on top of it, the stamped concrete looks good. I like the temple floor almost that he's looking on. His shoes, check out his shoes. I like how they have this dirty effect because if you live in a cave, your shoes probably wouldn't be clean. But as you move up, the robes look great. I mean, they're not that high quality, but I like what they did. The red and black, very movie accurate. It kind of flows really well. He also has these mixed media necklaces. Take a look at his arms here. He does have some sculpted clothing or wraps around his arms and his wrists. They look fantastic. Uh, really quick, look at the heart here. I think it looks great. I like the blood pouring out. Man, I really don't want to sell this statue, but he's probably already sold by now. I like how the flames are engulfed in his hands, this transparent resin. I don't know how they could have done it, but a light up effect would have really taken this to the next level. Very cool. And then look at his skin tones, like on his portrait, I think they did a great job matching the likeness of that actor, uh, whatever his uh, ethnic race was. And the expression is fantastic. It's very scary, the eyes very beady, the mouth open. The likeness is really good actually. I said it was pretty good, it's really, really good. I love the helmet, the hair coming from it. Very impressive piece. So I think the paint on this, uh, I think I'm going to give the paint, it's close between a 3 and a 4 out of 5. Uh, we're going to give the paint a 3 out of 5. Uh, it's clean, it's done well, but they didn't have that much to paint, so I think that's where the negative is. But I think the sculpt is a 4 out of 5. That portrait is fantastic, the, the hand and the flames, the base is decent. A uh, really nice job on the uh, sculpt. Does this have the X factor? Is it a five out of five statue? It's not. No, this is one of those statues that unfortunately it's such a secondary or tertiary character that it can't be an X or a five out of five. But I love everything about it. If I had an Indiana Jones piece, I would definitely keep this, but I've never loved any of the sideshow Indiana Jones pieces. So just get rid of it and make a few hundred bucks uh, or get my money back at least. But uh, so I think it's a four out of five. I, I'm really impressed with this statue. It can work as a standalone statue if you're doing a bunch of movie villains, which is what I was doing. But mine's more of a horror section. So really cool piece. As a thank you to you guys, we're giving away these two exclusive Mortal Kombat statues from Pop Culture Shock Toys. We've already given away this Sub-Zero. It's being shipped to the winner of the 15,000 sub giveaway. Up for grabs at 17,500 subs is this exclusive Scorpion statue. First thing you need to do is make sure you've liked this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you've hit that bell notification. Second thing is we're going to pick random videos. This is one of those random videos and insert this segment somewhere. You need to make sure you comment on that video. We are going to pick a random comment from one of said videos and you will be the winner of this scorpion statue. I think it's incredibly underrated. You can tell by how much it goes for. Let me know in the comments what pieces you think that are older and underrated that uh, don't go for a lot of money, but maybe they should. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching, though. As always, hit that Mr. X logo to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell notification and check out some of these other pieces from Sideshow Collectibles. Until I talk to you tomorrow, take care.